Cole has confessed to moving the body to the arcade. What? Do you still want to stick to the alibi you gave him? Well, yes, because that's what happened. Is it? Yes. No, it's just that Ripley has made certain allegations that might compromise you as a witness. Allegations? What are you talking about? He implied that you had taken bribes during the course of your long and otherwise spotless career. Ripley said this. Is this right? He seems to think you've been informing on him. Probably his way of getting his own back. I shouldn't take it too seriously. Shouldn't I? So in the light of these allegations, you might want to rethink your loyalty to Ripley. Well, I knew you were with him for most of the night. Maybe you're going to suddenly remember a fight he had with Mike Cooley. You were pissed after all. Who's to say it wouldn't suddenly all come back to you? They're going through with it, aren't they? Yes. They're getting married. I give up. I've tried everything. Well, really trying everything is what's throwing them together. Oh, well, thanks for that vote of confidence. You'll be accusing me of beating Steve up next. Oh, great. Thanks. Hey. What do you think I am? So that question you asked me this morning, about what I did that night, what exactly were you asking me? Well, you're behaving... Oh, I don't know. You're just not yourself these days. You don't go around confessing to moving bodies you haven't moved for no reason. I explained that. It was to protect Danny. Something just doesn't feel right. I can't explain well, it. Well, does it feel like I killed my Cooley? Eh? Is that what it is? No. No, I don't think that. Uh, well, are you sure? Come on, take a good look, because I'd like my wife to be sure that I'm not a murderer. I'm sure. So what's the problem? It crossed my mind that you might have done it. Don't you think that's bad enough? For you or for me? For both of us. Ah! <laughs> I trust you're not quizzing him on the finer points of his tax arrangements, Natalie, because I can promise you, you won't get a straight answer. So, tell me about the new investors. You know how nervous everyone is about the casino hotels. Well, anyone running one's got to have a clean reputation, but this slur on you, a dead man in the arcade, the investigation, bad financial management. What bad financial management? I released a large lump of your investment capital for you to pay a tax bill, and you blew it all on machines. It's an arcade! What do you expect? You need £100,000 by the end of the month. What you're forgetting is, I know better than anyone how to run an arcade. I'll, I'll build this place up, and a year from now, investors will be... You haven't got a year. You haven't got a month. You have got to remortgage the house, like I suggested. It's the only asset you can raise any funds against. Are you going to look into it? I can do better than that. I brought the paperwork with me. Can I have a word? Of course. Over there. Ripley will get planning permission in the end, you know. His sort always do. I don't know about that. Friends in high places. Not as high as mine. <laughs> Quite. He's already confessed to moving a body. We think he killed a man. So why don't you arrest him? Well, it's not as simple as that these days. I mean, you Possibly need the corpse to testify before you have a case. Whoever killed that young man will pay eventually. Could pay sooner. If I had a witness who saw him going into the Whitecliffe Flats between four and five in the morning, a reliable witness. 
who everybody would trust. Local figure. What are you asking me? To consider this. You don't want the arcade. I want Ripley to be charged with his crime. I think we have what is known as overlapping interests. Are you asking me to lie? I like to call it pragmatic idealism. Call it what you like. Still a lie. So you think you're going to take him down by sitting over there with a soppy banner, eh? Eh? Do you really think that is how this world works? We'd better get going, sir. I hate this place. I hate its cheap, cheery soul and its edge of violence and its freak show blood. Maybe Ripley didn't do it. He was in Haley's flat and he moved the body. He's not denying that. And if he did do it, he's hardly likely to stash the body in his own arcade and then call us in, is he? People mess up when they commit a murder. It's one of the ways we catch them. It's the only way. How come you're so certain it's Ripley that you're trying to bully witnesses into giving false statements? Because I've reconsidered all the evidence. Right, nothing to do with the fact that his wife's blown you out there. Are you saying that I'm in some way morally compromised? Maybe you want to lock Ripley up more than you want to solve Mike Hooley's murder. Yeah, maybe it's the same thing. From where I'm standing, it looks like your hurt feelings are more important than Mike Hooley's death. This tacky moral crusade of yours is not going to raise Mike Hooley from the dead. I know Hooley was a scally, and he screwed around, and not even his best mate seemed heartbroken when he died. It's our job to give a shit when nobody else does. Oh, that'd be nice. Maybe you could make a living writing greetings cards. Your words, not mine. You said them to me on the first day of the case, before your dick started telling you what was right and wrong. I need a word. I've told Carlisle some stuff. What sort of stuff? I didn't want to, but he said he was going to charge me with murder. What sort of stuff? Mike Hooley died in my flat. He just collapsed. What, on the job? No, before. We moved into the empty bedsit over the corridor, and then when you started emptying the bedsits, we panicked and put him in the arcade. By we, you mean you and Danny. Oh, so you know then? Whose bright idea was it to stash him in the arcade? It wasn't supposed to be there when you opened up. But where was he supposed to be? Standing as a trap and stop with a ticket to Fleetwood. Sorry, Ripley. I knew if they'd found him in here, they'd have accused me. All right, all right. There's no harm done. Hey, but you didn't tell Carlisle about Danny being involved, did you? No. I said another girl helped me. Did he believe you? Not really. He thinks it's me, doesn't he? That's all right. Natalie bailed me out. You can't put too high a price on a good marriage. So have you and Danny been friends for long? <sighs> Don't tell me a good-looking lad like my son has resorted to paying for his portion. <laughs> How well do you know your lad? It's nothing like that. You help him out with his own work or what? He gets me drugs for the clients. Bloody... Is there anybody in this town he isn't supplying? It's not that heavy. Makes the amyl nitrate in the chemistry labs at school. <laughs> well, it's nice to know he's not wasted a good education. Why didn't you move Mike Uli's body out of the arcade before I opened up? I oh, were going to. I overslept. <sighs> Only a teenager could oversleep when they had a corpse to move. Sure, it was nothing to do with the Valium you took to take you down after the speed, then. Because I know if you're dealing it, it's odds on you taking it. Come on. Let me let you into a secret. You know, when I'm feeling down, 